Imagine a country where the roads are built not by foreign contractors, but by its own people, using a technique so innovative it's turning heads worldwide. Welcome to Burkina Faso, where a new era of self-reliance is paving the way forward. In a world where infrastructure projects often come with massive price tags and foreign involvement, Burkina Faso is rewriting the rules. Under the leadership of President Ibrahim Traoré, the nation is embracing a revolutionary road construction method that not only cuts costs, but also empowers local communities. Let's explore how this bold initiative is transforming Burkina Faso's landscape and future. Chapter 1. A Country Ready for Transformation Road networks in Burkina Faso have long been problematic. During the rainy season, villages became isolated, making it hard for farmers to reach markets, children to attend school, and patients to access hospitals. Small businesses struggled and many communities felt cut off. President Ibrahim Traoré saw that roads were more than infrastructure. They were lifelines connecting people to education, healthcare, and opportunity. Traditional methods often failed. Imported materials were costly, maintenance was inconsistent, and foreign contractors limited local involvement. Traoré asked a bold question. How could Burkina Faso build roads that were durable, cost-effective, and empowering? The government prioritized linking agricultural zones, schools, and hospitals while consulting communities on placement, techniques, and maintenance. By using innovative methods with local labor and resources, Burkina Faso is proving that roads can transform lives. Farmers transport goods faster, children reach school safely, and small businesses grow. Even with limited resources, Burkina Faso is leading an infrastructure revolution, showing that development can be practical, people-focused, and transformative. Chapter 2. The Birth of a New Construction Approach President Traoré's vision went beyond simply fixing roads. He wanted a method that was faster, more cost-effective, and built to last. The team explored alternative materials, local resources, and techniques suited to Burkina Faso's climate and terrain. Instead of relying on expensive imports, they focused on locally available materials that could withstand heavy rains and high traffic while reducing long-term maintenance costs. The approach also emphasized community involvement. Local workers were trained in construction techniques, creating jobs while ensuring knowledge remained in-country. Villagers contributed insights on soil conditions, water drainage, and road placement, making the infrastructure tailored to their daily lives. This collaboration strengthened both the project and the communities it served. This new method is not just about roads, it is about building capacity and resilience. By fostering local expertise, Burkina Faso is creating a workforce capable of maintaining and expanding infrastructure for years to come. Chapter 3. Jobs, Skills, and Community Empowerment One of the most impressive aspects of Burkina Faso's road project is the involvement of local communities. Thousands of citizens are learning construction techniques, quality control, and road safety practices. These skills go beyond the current project creating opportunities for long-term employment, entrepreneurship, and future infrastructure work. By empowering locals with practical knowledge, the country is building a workforce capable of sustaining development well beyond these roads. The impact on daily life is immediate. Farmers can transport crops to markets more efficiently, children can reach schools safely even in the rainy season, and healthcare workers can respond faster to emergencies. This project shows that infrastructure can strengthen communities and improve livelihoods socially and economically. Local governments are also learning lessons in managing budgets, procuring materials, and overseeing timelines. By integrating human development with physical infrastructure, these roads are more than pathways. They are models of strategic investment that benefit both people and projects. Burkina Faso's approach demonstrates how focusing on skills, jobs, and community involvement can transform landscapes and lives. Chapter 4. Environmental and Cost Benefits Traditional road construction globally relies heavily on imported materials and large machinery, leaving a significant carbon footprint. Traoré's innovative method takes a different approach, focusing on sustainability and cost efficiency. By using locally sourced materials, transportation costs are lowered, emissions are reduced, and soil stabilization techniques help ensure roads remain durable for years to come. The environmental benefits are clear and measurable. 
Effective water runoff management prevents flooding, minimizes erosion, and avoids energy-intensive production processes. Communities are actively involved in learning how to maintain these eco-friendly roads, ensuring that their advantages last for decades. Burkina Faso's project sets a new standard for green infrastructure in Africa. As climate change threatens traditional road systems worldwide, this approach proves that careful planning, local resources, and sustainable construction methods can produce cost-effective, durable roads that also uplift communities and strengthen the economy. Chapter 5 Overcoming Skepticism and Challenges Innovative ideas often meet doubt, and Traoré's road construction method was no exception. Critics questioned whether roads built with local materials and labor could meet international standards or withstand heavy rains and rising traffic. Scaling the project nationwide seemed ambitious, even risky. Through careful planning, rigorous testing, and ongoing monitoring, engineers ensured that the roads are strong, safe, and long-lasting. Communities were trained in road maintenance, creating a culture of ownership and accountability. Educational campaigns on safety, sustainability, and proper upkeep further reinforce the credibility of the project. Traoré's approach is quietly shifting perceptions. Demonstrable improvements in accessibility, safety, and cost efficiency are challenging traditional assumptions about infrastructure in developing nations. Burkina Faso shows that local expertise, when harnessed strategically, can deliver results equal to or exceeding conventional methods. Chapter 6. A Model for Africa and Beyond The impact of this project extends beyond Burkina Faso's borders. Neighboring countries are observing closely, recognizing how a combination of innovation, community involvement, and cost efficiency can transform infrastructure. Early discussions suggest that other nations could replicate this approach, reducing dependency on foreign contractors and expensive imports. These roads are more than a national improvement. They facilitate regional integration. Connecting remote villages to major highways strengthens trade, expands markets, and improves access to social services. Investors are beginning to consider similar projects in other African countries, signaling that this model could become a blueprint for sustainable infrastructure development across the continent. By showing measurable success, Burkina Faso is establishing a precedent. Infrastructure is no longer just concrete and asphalt. It is a tool for economic growth, social cohesion, and regional development, offering lessons that could shape Africa's future. Chapter 7. The Vision Behind the Roads President Traoré's strategy goes beyond engineering. It is a vision for inclusive development that simultaneously empowers citizens, stimulates the economy, and builds infrastructure. Communities are engaged at every stage, from planning to execution, ensuring that the project is long-lasting, socially integrated, and tailored to local needs. The roads symbolize more than physical connections. They represent opportunity and progress, Workshops, training programs, and community meetings foster social cohesion, strengthen governance, and build a shared sense of responsibility. This model shows how infrastructure can serve as a foundation for broader societal transformation. By integrating people into the process, Burkina Faso demonstrates that infrastructure can achieve multiple goals simultaneously. Roads become platforms for education, employment, and local empowerment, creating ripple effects that go far beyond transportation alone. Chapter 8. Looking to the Future Traoré's administration is now expanding the project nationwide, aiming to connect every major city, town, and rural region. With each kilometer of road completed, the nation improves mobility, enhances access to services, and strengthens economic opportunity while simultaneously building human capital and community engagement. International agencies are observing closely, some cautiously, others with inspiration. Burkina Faso's approach challenges conventional infrastructure methods, showing that reliance on foreign contractors and high-cost imports is not always necessary. The project prompts new questions about global best practices and the role of local expertise in sustainable development. As the network grows, the country continues to set benchmarks in efficiency, durability, and social impact. This initiative proves that thoughtful planning and community-focused execution can redefine infrastructure projects, not just in Africa, but around the world. Chapter 9. 
Lessons for the World Burkina Faso's road construction initiative demonstrates that infrastructure, when designed with purpose, can be transformative. By focusing on affordability, durability, and community empowerment, the country shows that roads can serve as engines of economic growth and social development rather than mere transport pathways. Globally, other nations can draw lessons from this model, locally optimized methods that leverage human labor, innovation, and sustainable materials can reduce costs, improve efficiency, and strengthen social cohesion in both urban and rural settings. Burkina Faso proves that creativity and necessity together can redefine what is possible in infrastructure development. Burkina Faso's road project shows that smart engineering, citizen engagement, and local innovation can create lasting change. What began as a national development project is becoming a model for Africa and the world. Subscribe and stay updated as we dive into the innovative projects transforming Africa's roads, towns, and economic landscape one step at a time.